James Watson has been a custodian at Washburn University and a union member of Local 307 for the past three years. So when he heard of a plan to hire an outside firm to do his job and about a hundred others like it, he was concerned. Oh well, yeah, I mean that. I mean, I'm not, it wouldn't. It would suck. I mean, <laughs> we kind of have our own thing going over here, and it would it would mess some things up if you know some changes came. You know, it, it wouldn't be the same, but hopefully. Everything works out okay. The Budget and Finance Committee for Washburn University's Board of Regents met with members of the outside firm Unico today. It was standing room only as Washburn employees sat in on the meeting with more of them hovering in the doorway. Unico claims their firm can save the university $538,000 annually. All current facilities maintenance staff would have to reapply with Unico for their current jobs. Unico says about 90% of them would be rehired and continue to work at the university, even though the university would no longer be their employer. Local 307 Union President Robert Tripp said he was surprised the university consulted this company without even asking union members for suggestions on cost savings. The relationship that we've had over the last nine years with the university, I'd expected to have a phone call so we'd have a professional okay, discussion about how to handle the issues instead of basically just looking at the first contractor that walked into their office and offered them a deal. But the committee decided today to put off making a recommendation so they could consider other options. So now the union and employees like James will have a chance to meet with university officials to try to come up with a plan that saves both money and jobs. And that's how it's done. In Topeka, Gina Terlizzi, KTKA 49 ABC News.